Here's an auction for antique chairs. We have our bidders here, and as they see the first chair, they all have their own value attached to it in their heads. They all get their own piece of paper to privately write down their bid. The highest bidder pays the second highest bid. Not a typical auction, huh? Well, fun fact, the open auction you're used to is basically equivalent to this private bidding. More on that later. This is a second prize sealed bid auction, also called a victory auction. A very prominent type of auction in game theory. Not that one, I meant the mapsy one. The dominant strategy in these auctions is simply bidding your true value, the amount the item is worth to you. Bidding it maximizes your chances of winning without causing unnecessary spending. Let's put it to the test. This C++ code runs a victory auction with various bidders. I made four different bidders. The honest bidder bids how much the item is worth to it. The random bidder bids between 0 to 2 times the bidder's own value. The high bidder goes up to 10 times of its own value, whilst the low bidder only goes up to half of its own value. I also made a scoring system. Every auction, each bidder loses 1 point to punish low win rates, since I'm going to be running a lot of auctions. The winning bidder gains back their lost point, but then gains score equal to how much the item is worth to them minus the price they paid. So if they pay more than their personal value of the item, they lose score, but if they paid a very low amount compared to their interpreted value, they gain a lot of points. Let's see what happens when these four bidders have 10,000 auctions. Now that was quick. The worst performance was from the high bidder, whose score was negative 584,739, presumably from bidding over its interpreted values. Next was the low bidder, who scored 19,913, probably been penalised a lot for a low win rate. Second place was random bidder with 177,755. So naturally, in first place is the honest bidder who more than doubled the random bidder's score with 389,330 points. You may wonder about the significance of investigating these rarer sealed auctions, but as I mentioned, they are strongly related to open auctions. In many circumstances, they are basically equivalent. It's surprising because the procedures are so different, and it's definitely true that open auctions can occasionally differ because of things like competition, but think of it this way. No matter the type of auction, bidders will have their own value attached to the item, and most of the time, that's when the bidding is already happened. In a victory auction, the bids will be written down and immediately compared. In an open auction, most people think of their bids, which are then slowly revealed. In a victory auction, the winner will pay as much as the second highest bid, and in an open auction, the winner will likely pay only a small increment above the second highest bid. Thus, they are considered basically equivalent. Wait, wait, no! Well, I'm a chair now.